Something that Balin said in the latest Ahsoka episode really stood out to me. When discussing his past with Shin, he mentions that he misses the idea of the Jedi Order, but not its reality. In other words, the tenets of the Jedi Creed and what the Jedi claimed to stand for were all well and good. However, the Order in practice was very corrupt, like so many things. While we did know that Balin had trained as a Jedi and that he had met Anakin at some point, we did not know how old he was when the Order fell. Now, we know that he was at least old enough to fight as a general during the Clone Wars, as revealed when Thrawn addressed him as such. Since Balin was a general, he would have had a front row seat to many of the mistakes that the Council made. The only question is, which mistakes did he get to see? During the Clone Wars, the Jedi Council compromised its ideals on several occasions, with the justification being that it was necessary for the greater good. One such example was the decision to train the rebels on Onderon to overthrow their Separatist-aligned government. This decision was particularly controversial, with the Council noting that they were walking a fine line between the light and the dark side, and that the difference between training rebels and training terrorists was not so clear. Arguably the Council's worst decision was the choice to keep the Clone Army's origin a secret. Towards the end of the war, the Jedi learned that it was in fact Count Dooku who had commissioned the creation of the clones. Rather than spreading this info far and wide, the Council opted to conceal this information among a few. Now, while I doubt that Balin was aware of this at the time, it is possible that he eventually learned of what happened, which would only lead him further away from the Jedi. I am not exactly sure how he would have learned of this, but much of his background is still a secret, and he has been shown to be quite knowledgeable given what he knows about Ahsoka and the Rebels crew. I have a feeling that this knowledge is something that Thrawn is going to respect. I should also mention the fact that in Revenge of the Sith, we learn that the Jedi Order was weakening in their ability to use the Force. This is something that Balin might have been aware of, and he could have taken it as a sign that the Force was unhappy with the Order's actions. Now that we have a clearer picture of what drives Balin, I have to quickly mention the similarities that I noticed between him and Count Dooku. Both of these men were skilled warriors who became disillusioned with the problems in the Order. Granted, Balin deciding to no longer consider himself a Jedi was most certainly influenced by the fall of the Order. The main difference between the two is the degree to which they aligned with the dark side, with Dooku fully immersing himself in it, while Balin seems to use it more out of necessity, at least from his point of view. They also both happen to have some killer beards, if I say so myself. Let me know, do you think that Balin might be onto something with his vision for the future and his opinion of the Jedi Order? Put your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With all that said, have a great rest of your day.